Hey guys, before we begin the video, I just want to say thank you so much for helping me reach 100 subscribers. Um, I know to some people out there, maybe 100 subscribers might not sound like a lot, but to me it means a lot. Um, to be honest with you guys, I honestly did doubt that my channel would, you know, make it to 100 because I'm still new to all this and I'm still learning as I go. But the fact that people are interested in my content and are watching and subscribing it means a lot to me guys and thank you so much and with that being said let's get into the video hello everybody welcome back to roman's west coast trains so today i finally decided to film a tour of my layout um, this layout started getting built um honestly just before the pandemic started maybe about a month or two before it started um and I got a lot done during those couple months, but unfortunately I had to stop working on it for a while. I couldn't really spend that much money um, during the pandemic to work on this because um, the industry that I work in probably got one of the harder hits um, in the workforce. Uh, we were definitely one of the first ones to get hit and we're definitely one of the last ones to get back to work. But luckily things are looking up. Unfortunately, I'm a little far behind um, where I wanted to be. I thought I'd be finished by now. I know a layout is never really finished. Um, but I plan on uh, doing some more work um, when I have some free time uh, from work. And I'll definitely be doing some updated videos on some progress um, that I make on it. But Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys enjoy the layout. And let's get right into it. All righty, guys. Here is a quick overview of the layout. Um, but before we start, I uh, just wanted to point out that this section of the table was actually added on uh, later. Uh, the layout actually ended right here but my mom and I had decided that the table wasn't big enough. So the man that was helping us um, added this section later on. And this is the end result. Alrighty guys, so the track on this layout consists of Lionel Fast Track. Um, there's two loops uh, connected together. Um, the outer loop is 060, which I'm grateful I was able to fit in this room. And also, the inner loop is 048. Now, all this is, is all messed up because originally um, there were two pe uh, small pieces of straight track. I believe they're an inch and three eighths. Um, there was two on this side and two on that side. And those were there because originally there was supposed to be a tunnel over there, but that didn't really work out um, the way we thought it would. And also over there, the trains would always be colliding with each other. I've had so many derailments on that corner and I did not want to ruin my locomotive. So I ended up just ripping out the inner loop and taking those two straight pieces out and just leaving it like a regular loop. But because of that, I definitely got to fix um, a few patches like this um, around the layout, which isn't a big deal, um, but definitely something that needs to get done. Speaking of derailments, this is a access point, and this is actually a necessity because you can't really reach to that side of the track in case there is a, a derailment. So luckily this is here in case that does happen. So I do also have a four command switches on this layout. I got four here connecting the two inner loops and I got one on that side for a siding. Um, these all five switches are 072 switches, um, which were a little pricey and that was probably uh, the most money I spent during the pandemic getting these switches. Um, but I was kind of forced to go with 072 because there wasn't really 
a lot of space for me to work with connecting these two loops. Um, in order to use anything smaller like 060 or 48, I needed to go, I needed to, definitely needed a bigger gap to make that work. But honestly, to me, they're worth it. They add a little bit more excitement to this layout. I kind of wish I had a little bit more train action going on, but honestly, if I knew then what I know now, I probably would have had a different uh, track plan, but I'm not complaining though. I am definitely happy with the outcome. Now, one thing I do need to do though is uh, take these switches off and re and run the wire under the layout. That way they're just not there. And I definitely need to put these switches right here on the side. Uh, but that'll definitely be in a future update video. Now all the buildings on this layout are a mixture of Lionel, MTH, and Woodland Scenics. Um, honestly, my parents and I kind of went a little ham on these buildings for the size table that we have. Um, when we went to the train store, uh, we kind of just... Okay, you know, went, hey, I like that one. Do you like this one? Yeah, get it, get it, get it. And it was just a lot of that going on. And that's why we have all these buildings here. And also my mom went ham too on all the, the scenery and the trees and the plants and all that, because that's really her thing. Um, but either way, even though there might be too much on this layout, like the man that was helping us build it said there was, I still like the way everything works now they're not wired unfortunately that's another thing i have to do but when i do do that i'll definitely be posting that in a future video now here's kind of an oddball building but um my family and i especially my brother we all love going to disneyland a lot um my brother is actually a, a key reason why we uh, started building this layout because he absolutely loves trains and he loves going to Disneyland. He has been going to Disneyland for his birthday every year since he was young, and now he's 37. So all of us agree that we definitely did need a Disney castle in the background. Now to power the layout, I do have two Lionel GW180 transformers. These are amazing transformers. They work very well and they work great with uh, MTH engines as well. Um, now we did have um, some MTH Z1000 transformers um, originally, but my brother has special needs. So these ones were a lot easier for him to operate. He was having uh, some issues uh, turning the dial on the Z1000s. Um, and I decided to go with these um, for obvious reasons. Uh, I was not going to get um, a Lionel CW80. There was just no way I was going to do that. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, long story short, those transformers were pretty terrible at first. Um, I don't know how the updated ones are. Um, I haven't seen them or tested them, but these work very well, and I highly recommend getting these. They are expensive, yes, but you honestly get what you pay for. They work very, very well. Also, I do have the Lionel Legacy and TMCC command bases as well. Um, I run the locomotives command, and my brother runs them conventionally. It's another reason why I got these transformers for him. Um, I do also have a MTH DCS system, but I don't have it hooked up. Um, honestly, that was kind of a, a panic buy. Uh, when I heard that Mike Wolf was retiring, I went straight to the train store and bought one, um, and I never hooked it up. Um, but I will definitely be doing that soon. I don't have that many MTH engines, but I do have some. Um, so I will definitely be hooking that up soon and posting that in a update video. But this all right here is a temporary setup. Um, at some point later on, I do want to get rid of this table and build like some sort of like mountain right here that I could put both the transformers right here 
That way it's easier um, to get to them and also easier for my brother to use them. And I don't want those command bases on the floor or the TIU when I finally hook that up. I want them up here with the with the uh, transformers. So I might build an undershelf for all that, but that will definitely be in an updated video um, down the line. And also right here, this was supposed to be like a like a waterfall river area, and there's a, a little lake right there. But again. Uh, work stopped, but I definitely will be getting back on track, no pun intended, on on this section right here. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is basically the layout. Like I said, I will definitely be working on this a lot more, touching up these uh, patchy areas around the inner loop. Um, now that road uh, used to be a two-way road, but when I fixed, uh, well, well, not really fixed, when I ripped apart the inner loop and moved it, it became a one-way road. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that or move a lot of these trees and buildings a little bit more to make it another two-way road. Uh, but we'll definitely see. This is kind of the, the last thing I'm worried about right now. And then obviously this part of the road needs to get painted as well. Gotta get that done. And just a quick side note, that is the bridge where I get all those cool running shots from. I'll just place my phone right there on top, hit record, and just let the trains roll on by. And then under the layout is basically just where we store all of our rolling stock and all the locomotives and just a bunch of wiring. Um, definitely need to find some sort of uh, something to cover all this because it honestly looks a little bit bad whenever we have guests over. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to getting back to work on this layout. Alrighty guys, just a quick little bonus I thought I'd throw in too. Um, I do have a loop of 072 track in my room. Um, this is a loop of track that I use to run my bigger engines or my articulated steam engines. That's a Lionel JLC Challenger number 3985 and a Lionel Legacy Alco PA ABA set, the other A units in the box. It's not powered. Um, and I use a MTH Z1000 to power this loop. I did have the TMCC command base on this loop, but I have a Cab 1L coming uh, in the near future for this loop. And I also do have a MTH DCS remote commander. Um, again, the main reason why I bought this loop or have this loop in my room is because I still love having big articulated steam engines in my collection. Um, but unfortunately, they don't fit on the layout because the biggest curve I have is 060. But in the future... I do plan on building another layout either here or uh, in my future home. Either way, um, I plan to have uh, bigger curves on that future layout and I still want to be able to uh, buy these um, bigger locomotives now while I can, while they're either on the shelves or while I was uh, building them. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that tour of the layout. Um, like I said, I'll definitely be keeping you guys posted on uh, progress that I make on the layout. Like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to getting back into it and working more on it. Um, but again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, to those of you who have been watching, liking, and subscribing, thank you so much. 
Uh, your support means the world to me. And if you're new to the channel, please leave a like and subscribe uh, as I will be definitely creating some more content. I um, hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.